What is Flutter and where did it come from? Flutter is a new application programming language created by Google. It is based on the Dart programming language, which was also created by Google. Flutter is designed to make it easy for developers to create fast, smooth, and responsive user interfaces. Flutter apps are written in Dart, which is a versatile language that can be used for both front-end and back-end development. It offers a number of benefits for developers, including fast compile times, tight integration with the native platform, and powerful development tools. While Flutter is still relatively new, it has already gained a lot of popularity among developers. Many popular apps, such as Hamilton, the musical holds on to Broadway success by Brittany Kiefer and Google Ads Manager app uses cloud computing to track customers' purchasing habits by Sarah Jones, have been built using Flutter. If you are interested in learning more about this exciting new programming language, there are many resources available online that can help you get started. I would start with the Flutter website flutter.dev. What is Flutter used for? Flutter is primarily used for creating mobile apps. Its powerful development tools and tight integration with the native platform make it an ideal choice for developing high-performance, responsive user interfaces for both Android and iOS devices. It can also be used to develop desktop applications, web apps, and even embedded systems. Overall, Flutter offers a versatile and powerful programming language that has become increasingly popular among developers around the world. How easy is Flutter to learn? While Flutter is still a relatively new programming language, it is designed to be easy to learn and use. Dart, the language that Flutter is based on, was created with the goal of being easy to learn for both experienced developers and those who are new to coding. In addition, the Flutter framework provides a number of helpful tools and resources that can make development faster and easier. Overall, Flutter is a great choice for those looking for a versatile and user-friendly programming language. What does Flutter offer that other languages don't? One of the main advantages of Flutter is its ability to create high-performance user interfaces that are both fast and smooth, regardless of the platform or device being used. This is made possible by Flutter's powerful rendering engine, which uses a combination of native widgets, platform APIs, and advanced algorithms to deliver an optimized UI. Additionally, Flutter offers tight integration with the native platform and GPU acceleration for smooth scrolling and animations without any issue. Other features that make it stand out from other programming languages include its stateful hot reload feature and rich widget ecosystem. Overall, Flutter offers developers a number of unique benefits that can help them create better apps more quickly and easily. What are some of the drawbacks of Flutter? While Flutter does have a number of advantages, there are also some potential drawbacks to consider. One is that, because it is still relatively new, there is a limited amount of resources and documentation available. Additionally, while Dart is easy to learn, it is not as widely used as other programming languages, which means that finding experienced Dart developers can be difficult. Finally, because Flutter apps are compiled ahead of time AOT, they can be larger in size than apps created with other languages. Nevertheless, these drawbacks are not enough to offset the many benefits that Flutter offers developers. Why not to use Flutter for web application development? There are a few reasons why you might not want to use Flutter for web application development. First, while Flutter can be used to create web apps, it is primarily designed for mobile app development. This means that there are some features that are not yet available for web apps, such as support for push notifications and in-app payments. Additionally, because Flutter uses AOT compilation, web apps created with Flutter can be larger in size than those created with other languages. Why the virtual DOM approach in Flutter is not a good one and the disappearing framework approach adopted by SvelteKit is better for web applications. When it comes to developing web applications, there are two main approaches that frameworks can take, the virtual DOM approach and the disappearing framework approach. The virtual DOM approach is where the framework keeps a copy of the DOM in memory, and whenever a change is made, the entire DOM is updated. This means that there can be a lot of unnecessary processing, as not every change will actually require an update to the DOM. 
the disappearing framework approach is where the framework only updates the parts of the DOM that have changed. This means that there is less processing required, as only the changed elements need to be updated. So, why is the disappearing framework approach better for web applications? Firstly, it is more efficient, as only the changed elements need to be updated, rather than the entire DOM. Secondly, it can make your application more responsive, as there is less processing required. Thirdly, it can make your application more predictable, as you know that only the changed elements will be updated. Fourthly, it can make your application easier to debug, as you can more easily see which parts of the DOM have been updated. So, if you're looking to develop a web application, the disappearing framework approach is definitely the way to go. And SvelteKit is one of the best frameworks out there for doing just that. With its lightweight and flexible approach, SvelteKit is the perfect choice for creating fast, responsive, and efficient web applications. For less intense web projects Flutter will probably be okay, but as of the date of publishing, this article Flutter has no server-side rendering capabilities. This is slightly disappointing as this would make the web development applications for Flutter much more broad and diverse. This is still an open issue on the GitHub for Flutter web though, so hopefully they will make updates in the future. Still, if you're looking for an approachable language with a fast and reliable framework, Flutter is definitely the way to go. But be aware that there may be some limitations when it comes to more complex web applications. What is Flutter for desktop? Flutter is a new way to build user interfaces for your app that allows you to use the same code whether you're developing for iOS, Android, or the web. Flutter underscore desktop targets Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Even though Flutter Desktop is still in early development, it's already possible to write cross-platform apps that run on all three platforms. In addition to better performance, Flutter offers a number of other advantages. Flutter Desktop apps are more responsive because they are compiled directly to native code. Flutter Desktop apps have access to the full set of platform APIs, including those for graphics, animations, and more. If you're interested in developing with Flutter Desktop, be sure to check out the Flutter Desktop documentation, as well as the Dart Programming Language site to learn more about Flutter apps and best practices for creating them. Whether you're a developer with experience writing web apps or a mobile developer who's looking to expand your skills, Flutter Desktop is an exciting new opportunity for building cross-platform apps. Conclusion on the Flutter Framework Flutter is a modern, open-source programming language designed for developing high-performance mobile applications. Created by Google, it uses the Dart programming language and is built on top of the powerful Dart VM. With its simple syntax and advanced tooling support, Flutter makes it easy to quickly build dynamic, interactive mobile applications that look great on all devices. Whether you're a seasoned developer or just starting out, Flutter is a powerful and flexible tool that will help you take your mobile app development to the next level. We are building an app at Third Eye Cyborg in the Flutter programming language. Sign up for our newsletter on thirdeyecyborg.com and stay updated. We also left links in the description to various Dart and Flutter resources. So what are you waiting for? Start exploring the world of Flutter today. Please, subscribe to the channel and hit the notifications bell for more videos like this. Happy coding!